What's up, guys? I'm back with a follow-up review on my um, Shadow Systems DR920, the War Poet Edition. <clears throat> so I had just got done running just a little over 200 rounds through this again. Um, I'm I'm quite certain that it's broke in, but um, I did the last time I shot it. I had a, a Hollow Sun 507C on it. Um, it was changed out for the Trigicon RMO2 auto adjustment. And I kind of want to talk about that along with um, how, the, how the pistol functioned this evening. So I've, I've ran nothing but um, Glock mags <clears throat> um, this evening through it. I ran, I have three of these and uh, a regular Glock 17 Gen 5 mag. I did not run the P mags actually. Um, Kind of sold traded those to a buddy um not that i thought there was anything wrong with them i just wanted to run glock mags but anyway um so anyway i i think i shot 20 rounds uh to zero this um fortunately and luckily for me i did not have to adjust anything and the red dot was slave to the irons and it was dead on at 100 or 100 yards i wish 100 yards um at 10 yards um, <clears throat> I was shooting offhand and I also had it benched as well. So, um, I did shoot two types of ammo, um, Winchester. It's kind of like their duty training. It's got a flat tip on it. It's extremely dirty, just like the Winchester white box. And then I want to say maybe about a mag, mag and a half of this 180 grain seismic ammo. So let's get right into what happened this evening and some things that I learned about the red dot and <clears throat> also this being suppressed. So um, I would like to say there was no malfunctions, but I don't think it had to do with the, the actual firearm. I think it had to do because it was suppressed and there was a certain ammo that was hanging this up. It wasn't going fully into battery. So um, I apologize, I don't have any ammo next to me, but in one of my last recent videos, I was showing you an, um, a nine millimeter round <clears throat> that is 180 grain, has uh, the kinetic energy of a 45 ACP. Um, it sounds super quiet in this when this is suppressed. But um, anyway, those rounds were not returning fully back to battery. Um, it certainly looked like it was, but it may have been off just a hair. Just enough for us not to engage. Sorry, I didn't do a, another empty mag. There's nothing in there. Um, but anyway, the 115 grain Winchesters, um, just, it just ate that ammo up. The, it, because it is so dirty, tons of blowback, which really sucked. Uh, so you definitely want to wear eye protection. I know sometimes we get lazy. I'm, I'm, uh, guilty of that too. Uh, and I don't like to wear eyewear cause it gets fogged up or, um, my eyes are getting bad. So I feel it's, a uh, another barrier for me if I'm shooting through some type of optic or, you know, even iron sights. But anyway, uh, <clears throat> so we thought maybe because of the light was on there, um, it could have been causing those malfunctions. So we removed the light and it was still not returning back to battery. So uh, unfortunately, we will not be running those rounds anymore suppressed. Um, and probably shouldn't run a great deal of those rounds suppressed either. So, um, other than that, thing is still stupid accurate. Uh, I'm, I'm very pleased with it. Um, but anyway, I want to talk about this Trigicon. And I think this is really vital information for folks out there that have some type of automatic optic, whether it be a red dot or, um, I, I'm not sure what else is out there on the market that, that is uh, automatic dimming or brightness. So anyway, here's what we encountered. So shooting this suppressed with all the blowback, this thing got stupid dirty. It actually just got a bath, so it is spick and span clean right now. Um, just the way that I like all of my firearms. I'm not going to mention names, but I know some buddies are going to watch this and they're going to get a chuckle out of it that don't clean their firearms. So anyway, <clears throat> I am not sure where the emitter, the light emitter on this is, but all this blowback built up all this carbon um, actually killed my dot. Not that 
you could kind of see a dot, like it literally killed the dot. Like it just wasn't on. So if you look down, let me see if I can get that. There, you can see, if you look closely, you'll see a little red, little red dot in there. So all this carbon uh, buildup uh, shut this optic down. So uh, we did a, we wiped it off and it started coming back. It was really dim, but the more that we wiped it off, the brighter the dot got. So definitely something to keep in mind if you are shooting suppressed with an automatic red dot. Um, it was something I never thought of beforehand. So that's, that's why we go and train. That's why we go shoot guns indoors before we decide to carry them and um, use them as some type of self-defense. Um, but also keep in mind, this was almost very close to 200 rounds. So it wasn't after the first mag, it shut the light down. It was, it was that round count was near 200. So, um, <clears throat> man, I don't know what else to say. It's, I'm still confident in this pistol. I'm still comfortable with it. Um, I did not have any pins walk out. Um, like on my last rain session, I, I mentioned it and I did reach out to Shadow Systems last week, actually a week ago. And the customer service rep that I spoke to was like, absolutely, I'll get those sent out in the mail today. So um, a week later, um, I just got a tracking number for two pins. So maybe their customer service isn't as, isn't as great as uh, everyone jumps up and down for it to be. I know that might sound nitpickish, but if you tell me a week ago that, hey, I'm going to get these in the mail to you today. And then a week later, you send me a tracking number that is not taking care of the customer that is dropping the ball and your lack of follow up is very unprofessional. So anyway, that's my take on it. Um, <clears throat> yeah, very interesting about the red dot. So you can see it bright as day in there. Um, it was, it was very interesting that wherever this carbon, I need to do some homework on this and find out what area I cover. Cause I was trying to play with that in different darknesses of different rooms throughout the day, throughout the night, putting my hand over it. And, um, I cannot figure out where on this red dot it is going to, um, dim it out. So if you guys know, please leave it in the comments, uh, but other than that, I'm going to keep this one short. I don't think I've missed anything. Nothing's fell apart. Nothing's come loose. Like I said, the pins didn't start walking out like they did last time. Um, it's a solid gun. So I'm over 400 rounds, which is still a low round count, but that's plenty of ammo to break in a, a polymer uh, pistol. Um, versus the 1911, you know, I had to throw that in there for my 1911 folks out there. Um, I think a 500 round, uh, is about a minimum for many 1911s out there to, for a break in period. But anyway, um, looks like we're going to keep this one short, just shy of nine minutes. Um, we're good. We're good to go. So. Um, I'm going to do another update. I'm going to run another couple hundred rounds through it next week. And uh, maybe I won't do it suppressed. Maybe I'm, I'm just going to run it maybe two, 200 rounds um, unsuppressed and just continue to shoot it. But anyway, guys, take care.